In the sprawling wheat belt of Western Australia, under the vast, clear skies of 1932, the stage was set for an unprecedented clash. It was here, among the rustling fields of golden wheat, that a conflict began to simmer, a conflict that would soon capture the nation's imagination. This was not a war of nations, but a battle between man and bird, the Great Emu War. A feathered foe in the fields of Australia, like a feathered tide, a relentless avian army, driven by an insatiable quest for sustenance, descended upon the farmlands. The emus, propelled by the parched throat of the drought-stricken interior, found in these cultivated lands a bounteous feast, threatening the livelihood of the beleaguered farmers. As the birds surged across the landscape, the farmers' pleas for a solution grew desperate, setting in motion a military response that would go down in history for its sheer improbability and astonishing defiance by nature's own infantry. The Precipice of Conflict As the 1930s unfurled, Australia found itself grappling with the global shockwaves of the Great Depression, an economic maelstrom that brought the nation to its knees. The country's once buoyant exports of wheat and wool, the twin pillars of its rural economy, faced a catastrophic decline as prices plummeted and markets shrank. Farms, the beating heart of Australia's commodity-based prosperity, began to falter, with rows of crops turning into barren symbols of despair. Amid this economic turmoil, a new and unexpected tide was rising. From the arid heart of the continent, driven by an unyielding drought that left their natural foraging grounds parched and lifeless, thousands of emus began a mass exodus. Their migration carried them into the wheat districts of Western Australia, lands that promised relief and sustenance. Here, amidst the golden stretches of wheat, the stage was set for a bizarre and unforeseen conflict as these avian invaders collided with the human stewards of the land, setting in motion a series of events that would culminate in an extraordinary chapter of Australia's history. Operation Feathered Foe, the military's struggle. In the dust bowl of the outback, where the Australian sun beat down without mercy, Major GPW. Meredith and his men stood poised for what they believed would be a routine operation. Armed with machine guns and the conviction of swift victory, they sought to restore order to the beleaguered farmlands. Yet, the emus, with their extraordinary agility and uncanny knack for survival, had other plans. The birds' fleet-footed dashes and erratic maneuvers rendered the soldiers' efforts almost farcical. Each strategic maneuver was met with an avian counter-move of chaotic genius. The emus, it seemed, had mastered the art of irregular warfare. Scattering with a speed that confounded the troops and dodged the hail of bullets as if by intuition. This was no ordinary adversary. This was nature in its most wild and unscripted form. A foe that refused to yield to the military might of man. The ripple effects of the Emu War reverberated far beyond the trampled wheat fields, stirring a national conversation laden with a blend of incredulity and introspection. Newspapers brimmed with tales of the campaign, oscillating between bemused satire and solemn contemplation. Australians from all walks of life found themselves grappling with a narrative that bordered on the absurd yet laid bare the intricate tapestry of their relationship with the continent's wildlife. The emus, cast as unwitting insurgents, emerged as peculiar champions in the public's eye, prompting a re-evaluation of environmental management policies. Debates flared over dinner tables and in the halls of power as the nation pondered the profound implications of the conflict. This strange saga challenged Australians to reflect on the delicate balance between development and conservation, questioning the place of humanity in an ancient land that had long been governed by nature's indifferent hand. The emu, a native icon etched into the Australian landscape, stands as the second largest living bird by height, an embodiment of the country's rich and diverse ecology. These majestic creatures, with their long, powerful legs and feathered frames, have roamed the land for millions of years, co-evolving with the harsh and unforgiving Australian environment. 
Their biology is a testament to adaptation. They can survive without water for days, and their nomadic nature has them traversing vast distances in search of food. It was these very traits, the emu's innate nomadism and resourcefulness, that led to their unexpected confrontation with human settlers. To understand the conflict is to appreciate the emu's place within the delicate web of Australia's ecosystem. They are not just creatures of curiosity, but key players in the ecological balance, dispersing seeds, and supporting the biodiversity of the outback. Their behavior during the conflict, an instinctual response to environmental cues, offers a window into the complex interplay between wildlife and human activity, and it underscores the necessity for a nuanced approach to wildlife management that respects the intricate dance of the natural world. War Major GPW, the man at the helm of the operation, is often the most cited figure in this unusual military endeavor. A seasoned soldier, he brought to the mission an air of military precision and confidence. Yet, the Emu War would test his resolve in ways no conventional conflict had. Alongside Meredith stood a cadre of officers and enlisted men, each bringing their perspective to the fray. Their collective experience, ranging from World War I on battlefields to the domestic front of agricultural toil, colored their approach to this mission. Through diaries, letters, and interviews, we gain a multi-dimensional view of these individuals. They were not just uninformed participants in an ill-fated campaign. They were fathers, sons, and neighbors caught in an extraordinary situation. Their stories provide a human counterpoint to the surreal narrative of the war, showcasing the breadth of human emotion and reaction when faced with the untamed forces of nature. The campaign against the emus called for the implementation of military hardware in a context far removed from human conflict. The Lewis automatic machine guns, a staple of the World War I era, were repurposed for a type of enemy they were never designed to combat. These guns, engineered for the trenches of Europe, proved cumbersome and ineffective against the swift and scattered emus. The operation exposed the limitations of such technology when faced with the unpredictability of wildlife. It highlighted the need for adaptability and innovation in equipment when the battlefield is the untamed Australian outback and the opponents are the country's native wildlife. This chapter in military history serves as an intriguing case study in technological adaptation revealing how tools created for human warfare must be re-evaluated when the objective shifts from defeating a nation to managing nature. The Tale of the Great Emu. War is not an isolated incident, but rather a chapter in the annals of human wildlife conflict. A narrative echoed across continents and eras. From the American campaign to control bison populations to the African efforts to protect farmland from locust plagues, the struggle to balance human advancement with wildlife conservation has been a persistent theme. Each of these conflicts provides valuable lessons on the complexity of ecosystem management, the ethical considerations of animal control, and the unintended consequences that can arise from such interactions. By examining these incidents collectively, we gain a comprehensive understanding of the intricate and often delicate relationship between humans and the natural world, informing current and future approaches to wildlife management. The repercussions of the Great Emu War resonated far beyond its immediate aftermath, leaving an indelible mark on the Australian environmental landscape and the collective memory of the nation. The emus, once the target of military intervention, have continued to thrive, a testament to the resilience and adaptability of nature. Ecologically, the conflict raised awareness about the impact of human activities on wildlife populations and habitats, influencing modern conservation efforts. Culturally, the war has been immortalized in literature, film, and folklore, often cited as a cautionary tale of the unpredictable outcomes when humanity attempts to exert control over nature. It stands as a poignant reminder of the complex interplay between human progress and environmental stewardship. With the emu's survival serving as a symbol of nature's enduring sovereignty, esteemed curious people, Join us as we continue to voyage through the annals of history, uncovering its hidden gems. Engage in this dialogue, share your reflections, 
and become an integral part of our historical exploration. Do like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more such illuminating insights. Our deepest gratitude to each of you for accompanying us on this enlightening journey. Remember, history is a vast tapestry, woven with secrets and stories yet to be revealed. Until we meet again on our next historical sojourn, nurture your inquisitiveness and continue your quest for knowledge.